Hey Moby, we have a letter from someone named Joe. Beep beep. Dear Tim and Moby, who are the scallywags and what tension do they cause during the Reconstruction Era? From Joe. Well, Jill, first of all, the scallywags are from the South. They were white Southerners who often couldn't afford slaves or didn't want slaves. They were considered traitors to all of the Southerners because they backed the views of the Republicans and how to reconstruct the Union. Some scallywags were merchants, some artisans, just ordinary pe people pro-Union, and some planters. The scallywags thought that the economy would be better under the hands of the Republicans. Others sided with the Republicans because of their own material gain. The South actually hated the scallywags more than the carpetbaggers because they thought that scallywags were traitors. Carpetbaggers were northerners who came from the South during the Reconstruction era in order to gain money. A lot of Southerners thought that carpetbaggers were opportunists trying to cash in on the South's suffering. Some carpetbaggers moved to the South to purchase Southern land or to create partnerships with down-on-their-luck farmers. Most, however, were members of the middle class who wanted to help rebuild the South in the model of the North. Scallywags often worked and had the same beliefs as carpetbaggers. Beep, beep. Colonel Franklin J. Moses, Jr. was the worst of all scallywags. After the war was over, he became a Republican and the South and a South Carolina governor. He was at the Battle of Fort Sumner and raised the Confederate flag. The scallywags really caused tension during the Reconstruction Era. They made it harder to reconstruct the South and made the South really mad, which only made Reconstruction go slower. Well, that's all for right now. See you next time. Beep, beep. Oh, Moby, you're so funny.